I'm Scott Drager from uh, Local 340. Uh, come out onto the windmill project here in Mason County, start of June. Yeah, I've been on our work for about, oh, I guess it's 18 years. I've been traveling around for the last seven years now, uh, working on wind projects. This project uh, basically was about a $35 million contract for white construction on this end of it. Of that, we utilized about almost $9 million that we spent right here locally. And as far as personnel, they were all from Western Michigan. We averaged uh, well, about 100,000 man hours to build this wind farm. Well, an average day on a wind project is very challenging at times. Trying to get the components to each site could be a lot of challenge. The blades alone are 150 feet long. And then we also have the main erection part of it. We'll have iron workers out there to lift the components off the trucks and laborers there to wash the components, operators there to operate the cranes, and electricians doing wiring in the towers. We have been doing a number of different things out here between setting the tower section, setting the nacelle, and the blades. There's tons of heavy rigging tons of moving and crane work. The locals here in uh, Michigan have been very good. The group of guys that we have got from 340 this year has been outstanding. A lot of these unions have uh, training facilities that they have in their uh, local halls and they, the people go through their apprenticeships. And that's probably what makes them very valuable to us is they've already been on a piece of equipment, they know how to utilize the tools and they know what's going on since they get here. It's nice because I usually travel across the country and with the wind farms and that going on in Michigan, I'm able to stay a little closer to home and actually get to spend more time with my family. It's a step towards the right future and for the community in providing a green source of energy. I would love to see a lot more of these go up because it keeps a lot of guys really close to home and it keeps Michigan working.